Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about Kevin J. Anderson's War of the Worlds Global Dispatches. <clears throat> anyway, um, <clears throat> the story is pretty simple and easy to explain. It's, uh, you know, the classic H.G. Wells uh, War of the Worlds novel, but instead it's told via short story compilations with each short story being told from the perspectives of uh, different uh, people from the time, you know, ranging from uh, Mark Twain, uh, Theodore Roosevelt, and so on and so forth. And, um, well, that's it, you know. You know, I find uh, each of the stories is very, you know, interesting and cool, and they're each told in their own really cool way. Um, you know, for example, there's a John Carter story, where the, um, yeah, you remember that movie, right? Anyway, um, there's a short John Carter story where John Carter, of course, goes to Mars and gets uh, captured by the Martians, and it's revealed that they refer to themselves as Sarmax. Um, there's one other story that, uh, that takes place in um, the Antarctic, where, like, apparently all the tripods are heading north, like, this is supposed to be, like, near the end of the war, or at the end of the war, where all those tripods are heading north because the, you know, viruses and germs are, don't, uh, reproduce as quickly. And, um, all of these stories seem to take place at either different sections of the war, or at, um, um, like, a, you know, just, um, or maybe like the, they take place during like the entire war, but just uh, from different perspectives, you know. And um, like I said, each story is good and so and interesting. But um, if there's one thing that just kind of really bugs me. It's that, um, that there's many inconsistencies, you know. Like um, there's um, <clears throat> well, like, first of course, like different dates, but that's expected and it's written in and they ex and they say like oh well of course some stuff is going to be inconsistent in the book but um and again there's some other stuff like uh the strengths of the martians you know like um there's a uh, one um story um uh, called um called probably um uh, night of the cooters which is a uh, thing told from uh texas rangers where like a pair like a uh, a hundred or so people with, uh, uh, with like three cannons are able to, uh, take out like four cylinders. I mean, granted that, um, of the, of these, like, um, many of them were like destroying them, the cylinders, like right before any tripods could get out. But, um, you know, I still kind of find it odd that like, but I mean, the first one, they actually did manage to get, I think, a tripod out, and, uh, you know, they managed to take it out fairly easily. And in another story revolving around Albert Einstein, um, you know, I think he managed, he managed to take one out with, like, a rope tripwire type thing, you know? And, um... I mean, yeah, in the original... In some ways can almost make... And uh, then there's another one where, um... This is like a Jules Verne story where they managed to, like, save Paris using some sort of, I, I forgot what the one, but some sort of super advanced type thing, but, um, I mean, things like, which kind of, kind of makes it a bit of a betrayal of the original novel. I mean, in the original novel, yeah, we got uh, some good wins, and, um, but, I mean, in the end, we still wound up getting our butts kicked, you know, like, even, like, the most advanced ship at the time, which was the Thunder Child, you know, wound up getting its butt kicked, I mean, and, it, I mean, it wound up being able to take out, like, two tripods, but in the end, it still wound up getting sunk, and, uh, well, yeah, so, um, yeah, so, yeah, like I said, it kind of is, like, a bit of a betrayal, but, on the other hand, it's still, like, each of the stories does have their own entertaining little you know, stuff, you know, their own way, and, um, it's still just, uh, a bunch of interesting, uh, stories, like, just some just, uh, more better than others. 
And, uh, of course, the big reason for all this inconsistency is, is because, uh, you know, you have, like, uh, many different writers on this thing. The, o the only short story Kevin J. Anderson written was uh, the Percival Lowell story. And, um, you know, <clears throat> and then there's the, um, uh, yeah, and then editing it, and uh, that's it. You know, and, um, or, like, editing the compilation together but um, <clears throat> even despite all this it's still a I still find this a very entertaining novel or short story compilation and so I give this a four out of five a comfortably recommended just comfortably recommended cool just good book anyway um, till next time we're going to be having some fun with Steampunk Samurai with The Lotus War. Until then, see you later, keep it awesome, have a nice day.